Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today uh, we're gonna chit chat a little bit with me. So without further ado, I'm trying to I'll I'll try to make this quick because you all know that when I start talking I, I cannot seem to stop and this could go for could go on for hours and hours and this is kind of my personal personality but so I want to talk a little bit about uh, how people act and react and whatnot, especially people that I know and um, I want to talk about ghosting. You know, uh, some people, I think WhatsApp, it's the best invention ever since sliced bread, slice, the worst invention ever, because um, Everybody and their mama is in there, so it's pretty easy to communicate nowadays, right? It's not like you're giving a phone call and the other person is not might not be at the other end of the line, so there's that, or you send us an SMS, you know, this is really old school, and they would get it eventually, you see, no, nowadays with the smartphones and whatnot, everybody is pretty much, except myself, attached to the phone. I tend to forget my phone to my place a lot. But you know what? There's this thing and it's not just WhatsApp, even it's Facebook message, all this kind of instant messaging kind of things, you know, Telegram, WhatsApp, um, Facebook Messenger, you name it. You know when someone has seen the message, just read it, unless they, they have this uh, kind of hidden thing. But still, you know, if they're hidden, I mean, you know, everybody and their mama are connected to their phones every single day and at least once a day you're gonna check your update, you know, even if you are the laziest person in the whole wide, pra in the whole wide world, chances are that you're gonna check your phone even, you know, just for fun, just to watch what time it is, whatever, you're gonna check your phone, you're gonna see that they have sent you a message and then there's this thing that kills me the blue tick and no answer. And you think, why? You know, um, you get the why, you know? You get the why they don't want to talk to you, whoever that is, or they, whatever. Um, but it's so impolite, you know, because you have seen, they've seen it. And once upon a time, if you were talking to someone, you would get a response. And nowadays, it's like, ghosting, ghosting, ghosting. And there is this uh, growing trend, you know, in people like, ah, I cannot be bothered right now. I get that right now someone might be busy. I, can, I do that all the time, you know. You see the messages and uh, you see them on your screen. Thank God, you know, you don't have to go inside the application to see what's going on. And maybe you're busy and you're going about your day and when you sit down, you have some time, you sit down, you grab your phone, you read the messages, you answer and whatnot. Here's the thing, here's the, here's the game changer. If you're busy or whatever, um, just say it. Just go ahead and say it. Don't just read the things and ignore the things for the longest time, you know. For instance, there's this, there's this friend of mine, this girlfriend of mine, and she, um, I sent her a message, several messages actually. We haven't argue, argued or anything, nothing, nothing in the lines, you know, where we get on well and whatnot. But she didn't answer. What's up with that, you know? What's up with that, dude? I mean, when you're interested in me, you all of a sudden take your phone and you message me and you need an answer ASAP. But when I ask you how you're doing and since your day is not doing so great, a couple weeks have gone by and you haven't mumbled the word, but then the day you, you need me again, you're gonna reach to your phone. This is so flippin' unpolite. Excuse me, but don't excuse me again, you know? This is so flippant and polite. Now, you send a message uh, time and again, you know, and, and people will answer or not answer, but the polite thing to do, at least, is like, look, right now I don't have time to talk, I don't feel like talking, I'm busy, uh, I'll check it whenever I have time, whatever, say something. It doesn't kill you or anything, you know? 
But then there's this people that they think that they are above all humans and they ghost you for the longest time and they just contact you when they feel like it, which is pretty cool. But don't just go ahead and contact me when you need me, you know? Contact me just because, you know? Show that you have some interest in my, perso in my persona other than using me for some purpose or whatever. That's so really unpolite. On the other end of this this spectrum is the people that leave constantly, that live on the messaging applications on their phone. And I don't, I cannot do that either. You know, I cannot do that either when people are 24 seven attached to their phones as if it was an extension of their hand. And if you don't answer immediately, they will bombard you with messages like, what's up, what, why, you not, why are you not answering? Have you seen the message? And one you have, uh, once you have seen the message, but a couple of minutes have gone by and more, it's like, why, you not, why are you not answering to me? And I saw that you posted, for instance, on Instagram and you're not answering to me still. And it's like, give me a break. You know, give me a break. I will answer you in due time when I have time to sit around. Maybe I'm running errands, maybe I'm, a, I'm at a meeting, maybe I'm working, maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm busy, you know, it's not like I'm not gonna answer you in a week, like some of the people do, or in a month. I will answer you at the end of the day. You know, when I get to go get home, plug my phone to the power and, you know, chill and whatever. So there's these people again, they're, they are so needy that, that it's like, oh my gosh, give me a break, give me a break, and then you stop, and then you start acting like the people that you, that the people that you don't like, you know, like the people that they ghost people, and you feel so overwhelmed with these people that are bombarding you 24/7 with messages, and you start sucking up the energy from the ghosters and you being the ghosty start being ghoster to that other person and that person becomes a ghosty and this is a rotten circle it's a rotten kind of thing to do and i decided to give myself a break of all of that and go with the flow and uh, they are messaging you 24 7. all the time like, kid you not, 100 messages a day, give me a break, give me a break. You know, if I want to go and talk to you, have a conversation, we'll grab up a coffee. Don't message me every 20 minutes on, or every 10 minutes, something crazy in the lines. What you're doing? I'm doing the same thing that I was doing 10 minutes ago. Life didn't change in 10 minutes. What's up with that? But then one day you go ahead and you tell them, look, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed, you know, because you don't want to be someone who ghosts that person. Look, I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but you, by you talking to me all the flipping time, and by all the flipping time, I don't mean once a day, I mean once every 10 minutes, once every 20 minutes tops, please give me a break, give me a break, give me a break. And then there's this, and then these people, some of them, they just stop talking to you forever. And it's like, what's up with you? Oh my goodness. And, and then these people start acting weird, you know, like, okay, then I won't talk to you anymore. And it's like, it's not like that. I'm not telling you not to talk to me anymore. You know, just chill out, you know, take a break, live your life, look instead of looking at the screen of your phone, look at the sky, look at the street, do something with your life. So, I don't know, I wanna have, I wanna know your, you guys' opinion about that. How do you feel about this, this uh, ghosting kind of trend that's going like on, scaling onto popular thing? Are you people that ghost other people on social media? Have you been ghosted on, so on social media? And if so, uh, either or how do you feel about it so there's this kind of topic that I wanted to touch today and yeah you got my five cent cents on this I think it's flipping rude to go someone and not give an explanation I think it's always best you know to say whatever you have to say on your mind and I think that um, 
we should be more honest with each other because nowadays people seem to hide a lot you know behind the curtains of and the security of their phones and we should meet up more it's even if it's not in person via skype or whatever and speak your mind you know and be more um natural you know treat things more organically and not this way that it seems to be dehumanizing uh, people nowadays so there's that i hope you're having a great day and i don't know let me know what you think in down below so subscribe if you haven't already and have a great day see you in the next one bye